sometimes very small changes can have a big impact on your site. The first thing I always do is to enable video ads. I placed this first on this list here because it can be a one hour fix that will give you a huge lift for many years to come. Mediavine shared with me that they see up to a 34% lift from users when they add video ads to the mix. AdThrive told me they see a 10 to 25% lift. I have two websites with AdThrive ads and I have one that I sold in the past and across these three sites I saw an average of 18% more income. So that's very much in line with the numbers they shared with me. I didn't get any specific numbers here from Ezoic but I know they see a lift as well. So with Mediavine and AdThrive now, you actually don't have to have videos. You can have a video player that just shows the ads, meaning you don't have to show your own video first and then have an ad slot, show your own video and then an ad slot. They will just show the ads one after another. So that's a pretty cool feature. Zoic don't offer that, but they are building a platform with lots of user uploaded videos that can be shown across other sites, meaning that you can enable the video player and have somebody else's videos shown on your site and then you can have the ads in between those. So it seems like AdThrive, Zoic and Mediavine all agree that the best way to use video ads on your site is to upload your own videos. So if you have good video content, upload that. And then you should probably cut it down to 30-40 seconds videos. Just show the very best stuff so you allow for more ad slots. Because if you upload a five minute video, there will just not be a lot of opportunities for them to show the ad until the video is done. And the next best thing is to have a playlist of let's say five or 10 videos that are pretty short, like I said, 30, 40 second videos. That's what I do. So I add all of these short videos in a playlist and in between all these videos, there'll be an ad slot and they do really well. So if you don't have those either, then with Mediavine and AdThrive, you can just enable a video ads without showing any videos in between that allows you to quickly get ads across all your articles and you will definitely see a bump up in revenue from that. So the way I create these short little 30, 40 second videos is I use a service called Lumen5. It's pretty cheap. You can really just buy a one month subscription, create all the videos that you need and then cancel the subscription again. That's what I've done a couple of times. But you have to pay it because otherwise it will say Lumen5 in the corner of all your videos, which is not really cool. So with Lumen5 you can create these slideshow type videos where you can use video bytes and images for free once you pay for the service. Just remember to never upload videos you created with Lumen5 to YouTube. I had two accounts cancelled due to that. So YouTube sees these as auto-generated videos and they don't want that on their platform. So if you are with Mediavine or AdThrive, I recommend you just enable these across all your articles without uploading your own videos. And then eventually you can upload your own videos and you can also go into your most visited pages. Sometimes we have a few articles that drive in 20, 30, 40% of the traffic to our site. And then it makes a lot of sense to just spend 15 minutes creating a video specifically for that. The next thing I like to do on my sites is to negotiate better affiliate commissions. So this is not the easiest thing to do, but it's where I think you can see the biggest lift. I have sometimes been able to double the commissions. So think about the impact this can have across your site. So sometimes we find that some of the biggest stores that you want to work with are actually working with two or three different affiliate networks, meaning that you can decide where to get those commissions from you're able to play these networks out against each other. So you can, for example, go to Commission Junction and say, if I send you all the traffic, instead of sending that chunk over to share sale, can you give me a better commission? I've successfully been able to do that a couple of times. So normally I never want to be locked into a 12 months contract. I never do that with the ad networks, but with an affiliate network, it's a little different. It's just very, very easy to compare if you get a 20 or 25% commission because it's the same store that gets sent to and they don't know who's tracking this. So if you get a better commission, just go for it. So almost any affiliate network have a tiered structure. So you're able to sort of move up in the ranks and you'll always start at the bottom. Ask the affiliate networks about this tier structure and how much you need to send them in order to get bumped up to the next level because they will go back to the brands and say we have another bigger site here so they will get a bigger commission from the store and they'll also themselves take a smaller cut when you get to that next tier. So you might be wondering how much revenue before they will consider you for a higher commission. For one site that I work with in the tech niche, I was around three grand with this affiliate network before I was able to get a 20 to 30% bump up. And that might be on the low end, but if you never ask, you don't know. 
And it's a very good idea to open up this conversation with the affiliate network early on because then they'll see you as a serious player and you'll get a better feel for where you have this potential to earn more because they'll let you know that this program over here, they're able to double your commissions, but over here they can't really do anything because it's already maxed out. So what I like to do is to zoom in on the products that I promote and see which ones that I really like and then ask the affiliate network or the store directly if they are able to bump up the revenue, if you send them more traffic for this specific product or service, maybe you can rank them higher in comparisons. Maybe you can write specific content about it. If they get more visibility on your blog, in return, they can give you better commissions many times. So let them know what you have to offer, maybe specific content, or maybe you have an email list where you sometimes will mention them. See it as a partnership and let them know what you can offer in return for better commissions. The next thing I do is literally a one minute fix. I like to really clean up the sidebar and remove almost all the widgets out there. So this will allow the ads to show higher up on the site, have more visibility, and you can show more ads there immediately when the user lands on the page. Again, I asked Mediavine and Zoic and AppFrive about how much of a difference this makes, and they said somewhere between 2 and 7%. So it's not a whole lot, but it's so easy to fix. All the ad providers and ad networks will allow you to use what we call a sticky sidebar that will continue with you as you scroll down the page. That alone can give you another 30 to 40% lift in revenue. These are numbers from AdFrive. I didn't test it myself because I don't want to test something that I already know works. Sometimes I'll have a video with a few logos or certifications or whatnot if the needs require more trust. So Mediavine require you to have at least 300 pixels of space in that sidebar. And with Ad5 it's 336. So you need a good amount of space in the sidebar for them to show as many different ad layouts as possible. So if you change this on your site or if you make any change to your site that impacts where the ads are shown, tell Mediavine so or Ad5 immediately so they can adjust and just check that everything runs smoothly. You can always check with the ad networks where you are making the most money and how any optimization is affecting your revenue. So here's how to do it with AdFrive. And remember to always look at this device specifically. So you want to look at this for desktop and mobile. And here is where you find these reports in the Zoic's Big Data Analytics. And with Mediavine, I haven't seen these data yet. I guess they're working on it right now. You should also remove that little X, that little close button on the footer ad. I'm not sure you can do this with the Zoic, but you can do it with Mediavine and AdFrive. Remove this little X because it's really just screaming to the user. Close me. I mean, when I see an X, I just want to click it. If your users typically close this footer ad because you have this X there, it can mean a big difference. See here in AdFrive how it's more than 20% of the total ad income for this site here. Oh, you're still here? In that case, you should check out this video about how to set up ads on your site so you make the most of it.